So what is the essence of the spiritual realm and what are the heavens? In my understanding, the spiritual world or the heavens are high places beyond the three-dimensional space and parameters in which we exist and that we're able to experience with sense perception. For example, angelic beings are represented with wings in iconography, not because they have literal wings like birds, but to symbolize that they are interdimensional beings existing in the high places beyond the perceptual ability of humans in three-dimensional space and the confines of time or temporal progression as intuited, conceived and experienced by human psychosomatic to mean psychological, physical actuality. For instance, when an angel appears to a living person, namely a saint, the angel suddenly manifests in the realm in which the person has the ability to conceive through sense perception in a psychologically profoundly complex and nearly indescribable manner at any moment in time and anywhere in the spatial dimension where the person is located. This is possible because the realm in which the angelic beings exist is greatly superior in its entire parametric universal structure and the angelic beings can enter our spatial realm without being bound by three-dimensional spatial existential parameters. So what exactly am I saying here? So in the physical realm that we can experience through sense perception, we live in a three-dimensional space. We exist in a three-dimensional space and time is perceived as being the fourth dimension. So we are in the confines of time or temporal progression and we operate physically in a three-dimensional uh, spatial realm. So a lot of people misunderstand the notion of the heavens or the notion of the spiritual realm because we rely on what we see or what we experience through a sense of perception. And we view anything that's outside the reach of our senses to be non-existent. But this is not necessarily true, and that's what the supernatural is. It is that which is beyond the natural world or the world that we perceive. Now, it is crucial to understand that three-dimensional space is the realm in which we physically exist and operate and experience through sense perception. So, angelic beings, for example, when we say that they're in the heavens, what we're saying is that they're existing in a realm that's beyond the three-dimensional space that we're experiencing and beyond the fourth dimension that is uh, understood to be time or temporal pro progression. So, for instance, when an atheist says that God doesn't exist or the angels don't exist and it's a ridiculous notion, what they're insinuating is that because we cannot experience because we don't experience God or angelic beings through sense perception in three-dimensional space, therefore they're non-existent. That's what an atheist is supposedly saying. That's like saying, if I can't see God with my bare eyes, if I can't touch God with my hands, or if I can't um, experience God physically or through sense perception, therefore there is no evidence or proof that God exists. That's what um, an atheist would say. But the essence of the supernatural is such that spiritual beings are not to be touched or seen. Spiritual beings are not uh, to be experienced through sense perception directly like we experience each other in the physical realm. What it means is that they can supervene upon an object and be experienced through a physical object by being spiritually present. For example, we can look at the story of Moses and the burning bush. God supervenes upon the bush. Moses had the ability to experience God through the burning bush. What Moses is seeing is the bush, the burning bush, but it's a supernatural event because the bush is burning, but the fire is not consuming the bush. 
And through that physical substance, which is the bush, Moses has the ability to experience God supervening upon a material object. Now regarding angels, angels are very frightening beings, especially in the manners in which they manifest to humanity. In the Old Testament texts, the description of angels is very frightening. They're described as frightening beings with many eyes and many wings and sounds of many waters and so on and so forth. Now the symbol of the wings is such that angels are not flying beings like birds. That's not what the wings represent or symbolize. What the wings symbolize is that they are beings that dwell in realms beyond the three-dimensional space that we exist in. But they are capable of entering the realm in which we exist. They are capable of entering the three-dimensional realm that we live in and manifest in that realm in order to communicate with saintly or very spiritual humans. This is by no means a scientific theory, but it has to do with spirituality or mysticism. But as we can see, we can use reason or rationality to try to comprehend what these things mean. This is to show that such mystical events or this mystical reality that in uh, sacred texts or in religion is known as revealed knowledge is not necessarily attained through logic or reason, but it's not unreasonable in the sense that it can be somewhat understood using reason to show that it's not uh, an impossibility.